Uh oh, what happened to my screen? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm still working. Getting ready for y'all. Have noise now. Thank you, Margie. You're so sweet. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate your support, lady. I'm distressed. Some paper. Can't you hear? I'm distressed. Some paper. Can't you hear? <laughs> oh, dear. about 30 seconds. I gotta do one more thing. Y'all bear with me. Get your heart rate going. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You are amazing. All right, here we go. <laughs> Whew. Welcome, everybody. I'm Linda Israel, and I'm so glad to have you here with me on this Monday, July the 27th. <laughs> It is 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we're getting started here live. Hey, if this is your first time here, do speak up in the chat and say hi. Know that you can watch this as a replay. You can click on the gear that's usually right below the video if you're on a computer. Change the speed to two times the speed, or you can go up in the corner and look for the three dots, and you can change the playback speed there. Hey, if you would, share this video with your friends. Maybe they can come and hang out and join us. And I think I got the giveaway started. So you earn junk bucks just for being here. So y'all get into the raffle where you can win 200 junk bucks. Type exclamation point raffle. Junk bucks are virtual currency that I give back so that you can get a $10 off coupon to my shop. So those of you that love to watch, maybe don't have a lot of money, but you can get you a $10 coupon and come on over to lindaisrael.com and use it there. Thank you so much, Cynthia, and of course, Margie, for your donations. You also earn junk bucks just by being here, by making donations. Playing the in-chat game, you'll see something called Boss and FFA. Those are some in-chat games where you could win a bunch of junk bucks or you may win nothing. So just kind of a little gamble, if you will. A virtual gamble <laughs> doesn't cost you but your time <laughs> so <coughs> pardon me you can check your bucks by typing exclamation point bucks and you can type exclamation point award when you have 2000 and you're ready for your ten dollar off coupon what else um let's keep the chat upbeat friendly and helpful thank you so much karen for your donation thank you so very much if you have a question put it in all caps i'll do my best to answer that message if i don't see it please ask again and i'll try to see it if you know the answer to someone's question please speak up and give them the answer let's be helpful that way okay <laughs> if you do have a question about an order so that i have a private conversation with you through email go to my website at linda Com. Use the contact me form and then fill out that form. Ask me whatever it is we need to discuss and then we can chat back and forth through email. What else? Uh, Robin is my official note taker. She, along with several of the administrators, we've got Cynthia here, sometimes Diane's here. 
I see her uh, sometimes Angelic is here sometimes it depends if Austin can make it sometimes Carrie comes in they're all administrators of the friendly junk journal people Facebook group Kim is another one and I encourage you, if you're not a member of this community, come hang out with us. You know, we do allow one self-promotional post per day. If you are an artist and you are wanting to sell something, you can post that once a day. But if you have, you know, just a general question of how do I do this distressing or whatever, post that in the group, post pictures. If you want to get some feedback or if you just want to get some love. So we'd love to have you there. But she is my official note taker. And I am a great, great, grateful for her and grateful for what Robin does to me, does for me for my live streams as well as the group. And she is an amazing woman that puts up with me. And I was nagging her to help me yesterday. And she's like, I have a headache. And I'm like, oh God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a slave driver. <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> so if y'all haven't noticed, there is a blog on my blog post. And I think it had over 1,200 words. So that's what happens when Linda writes a blog. <laughs> so I'm blessed to have Robin. Do give her some good vibes and some good love. Hey, and if you know her address from the rake list, send her a card. I know she'd be totally surprised, even though I'm telling everybody about it. Alrighty, so... <clears throat> I rambled on. I am not going to give you a preview of the Punked Out Steam Kit because I put up four bloody videos <laughs> this weekend too. <laughs> so if, after this is over, if you want to see the entire contents, minus I forgot to show the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in the video. I didn't realize it until after I uploaded it and I wasn't going to go back and re-edit and upload. <laughs> But you can see the videos of all of those. I've even got a couple of tutorials out there as well. So today what I'm going to do is make a Punked Out Steam from the subscription box journal. I will have it as well as the planner that I made as a prize at the end. If we get enough in donations today, I will give away both of those journals. If uh, you want a chance at that, just make a donation of any dollar amount. Do know that if you make a donation that you should definitely go over to lindaisrael.com, create a user account, and then send me a message. Hey, I donated on YouTube. My username is on YouTube, so I know who you are, and I can get you added to my donation group, which gives you free digital downloads and discount on items in my shop. <clears throat> I have no kit to show you. I have worked all weekend. Exactly. <laughs> and thank you so much, Calico. Thank you, Norella. She is another uh, amazing woman. Of, and I am so blessed to have her in my life. She is the digital artist that does all the works of the kits that I share period. I don't uh, share any other digital artists work on my channel and it's because I'm loyal to uh, Norella and her amazing talent. So here's what I'm going to do. I've kind of pre-planned some pages here. I've completed one completely because I wasn't sure how much time I was going to have. So I'm going to work on another page that I started before the live stream. I have been extremely busy. Normally I have all this done and today did not happen because my hairstylist had an appointment that changed because of her mother and I understand that. So she asked if I could get my hair done today instead of tomorrow. Otherwise it was going to be two more weeks. <laughs> So I was like, okay, yeah, I can go today. I have a live stream, so I'm extremely busy. So I was up really late last night and up early this morning, and I'm a little hopped up right now. <laughs> okay, Julie, have a good day. Have a good day. All right, so here's what I did. I used from the Punked Out Steam Kit, this is a beautiful shade of purple, and mopped up on the Wonky Gears stencil and I sprayed through this page and then mopped up with that and then I went ahead and sprayed the back side with the same color. I want to go ahead and give a little pattern on the inside because you can kind of see through the page just a little bit but you know sometimes you want to add just a little bit more. 
course, I also sell stencils, so it's kind of good to show those off, right? <laughs> so I have here the large gear stencil from the July Stencil Club. If you didn't get that stencil club, you can still get it. Just go over to my website, put it in your shopping cart, and when you go to check out, say, hey, Linda, I would like to start my subscription with the July steampunk themed stencil club, and that's what I will send to you. I've sent a message to one of my customers because she went in and ordered a second stencil club, but I didn't get a note, and she already has the stencil club, and so now I'm trying to figure out if she wants more than one stencil design. So, hey, Barb, if you're here, <laughs> I'm talking about you. <clears throat> I won't say her last name. All right, so... Here's what I did. I added, oh, thank you, Jennifer, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, Ashley. Hello. <laughs> Hyper Linda, Ashley says. Ashley knows that. She's just like me. <laughs> so there's the gears in the corner, we think. I'm going to do it one more time since... I am taking the time today, I am making two journals so that I get to keep one. <laughs> I always make journals, so I decided that I would make the planner journal over the weekend, and then I would offer one from the kit of the subscription box and one of the planners. So I would be able to make enough for myself. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ashley. <clears throat> okay, so that just added a little bit more texture, if you will. So I'm looking at my stamps behind me, trying to decide. Oh, by the way, uh, trying to decide what I'm going to use as I figured out. Well, I don't have a blank one, but... If you see this page that my rubber stamps are on, the rubber stamps from Beeline Design come final clean. So they have a little sticky stuff on the back that only sticks to clean items. And this is, believe it or not, I have a laminator and I used some heavy cardstock and laminated it. And it's just as good to me as the expensive uh pages that you get off of Amazon. So I've been really happy that I laminated some pages. Welcome to the live! So glad to have you here. <laughs> People say, calm down! Calm down! Chill out, man! Um, let's see, what do we want to do? You know, I like this window image, and I think it would look really pretty in the corner. So I'm going to use that one. <clears throat> And I think this is, I don't know if it's called Old Window, it's something Window. It has the name of Window. There's another stamp that I've been using that I really like, but I never remember the name because it's like V Adele something. So I should probably put a different name in it, like House. <laughs> you want all the journals, Margie says. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Since I'm doing two pages, I'm going to lay them side by side, and I'm going to stamp across this way. Because I really just want part of the image. You see what I did there? Clever, huh? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, I can't, I can't change. It's who I am. <laughs> Uh, we are who we are, what we are, what we do. All right, we're going to do that again. What do you think? Voila! So that's kind of cool. Just another way to add a pattern, if you will. All right, so I've got two of these. What else can I put in here? I've got the word journal. I've got uh, I've got little elements. What if we did um, maybe something like that? I've got two sets here, 
So I'm going to, oh yeah, I was going to look at that. <clears throat> Grab one over here. Here we go. All right, so if I did that, so this is trying to mimic them, okay? I don't know if I want the word journal on there, but I do like the little cloche, little dome thingy. The domed thingy. Mm -hmm. We could do a... That's kind of a... How about that? Admit one gentleman. Let's do that. Maybe we'll see what that kind of looks like. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around with how I want to do the look. I've got a couple of these little gears. Maybe like that. I'm thinking maybe I'll change this. Go up. I think like that. I'm get I'm changing it around. Okay, you get you get to change your mind if you want. <clears throat> All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I want to glue this guy to this guy, and then we'll glue this whole thing down. And then we'll put that right there. Okay. Well, how'd y'all do this weekend? Did you have a good weekend? I've calmed down now. I'm getting into the groove of creating. I, uh, I worked on the website. As I said at the beginning, I've created four videos in the past week that I had to edit and get uploaded to YouTube. <clears throat> I had to update my shop with all of the photos and the descriptions of the products which are of the punked out steam 2 and the punked out steam 2 kit will ship august the 15th i am taking orders now uh what else yeah i'm i'm, I'm this i'm this one's going to be for me see i'm making two pages at the same time and that one's going to be for me <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <clears throat> I don't ever get to keep a journal so I'm like I'm keeping one this time I think I like that put that right there I'm running out of space on my desk. <laughs> All right, so that's this side. What do you think? I like that. It's a little collage with the stenciling, the stamping, and the graphics. All right, so let's flip this over. Let's see what we can put on this side. What do I got here? I think what I want to do is we may need a pocket, maybe. We do have a couple of these journal cards that I haven't used. Okay. Oh, thank you, Sherry, for your donation. Thank you so much. So maybe we can use those. And then I see we have this little key graphic. I don't have this up in... I'm not in I'm not in frame I have this key image I have another I have the other this that or the other okay so I have the same so I could do this twice all right <clears throat> so that would be on this side I'm trying to use up all the kit pieces okay so 
do have that. I think this could be a belly band on that side and maybe we'll put a journal card in there. So we've got these journal cards. But I think I need something up there. So we have the word journal, but if we put that there, maybe we've got a couple of little pieces left that I haven't used yet. I've got a big card that I could put over here. And I've got this piece of a gel print. Maybe something like that. I'm just kind of playing around with stuffs. Maybe do a, a, rec, a strip of this behind there. Okay, I think I've got a plan. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this over here. And we're going to stamp on this pocket area. So I've got these two pieces that I want to decorate. I want to give a little pattern to them, if you will. So I'm just going to grab a scrap of paper here. I stamp on these papers. They get really gunky. <laughs> I need to use them as a page foundation because they're getting kind of grody. All right, so I've got these two guys laid out. I've got the Pillars of Hercules right here. And I think that would look good, but I think I would be happier with keys. So let's see. <clears throat> Did I not bring it? Oh, there it is. This is a new stamp that I just added to the shop. And I can't remember if it's called Hotel Keys. I think if you do key, you'll find it. I've got some, um, let's see if this is going to be deep enough. Yeah. Uh, craft cardstock that I've just trimmed to be about, oh, what is it, two and a half inches tall, maybe something like that. It was, it was a piece of paper that I just cut in half. Okay. So two and a half inches tall by five and a quarter inches wide. So it'll be a pocket. And I'm going to grab some, Salty Ocean and Dusty Concord. Concord, yeah. And we're going to ink up this stamp. I'm rubbing that onto the stamp really well. And I'm going to do the Salty Oceans. Okay. And I'm probably going to get a faint stamping if I try to stamp it twice. So I'm going to just stamp it once. I'm going to do it in the middle. I'm standing up. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Alright, let's see if I got enough juice. But just enough. There it goes. So that kind of brings it all together, doesn't it? <clears throat> I'd already put some distress oxide or distress ink around the edge. I am going to hit it with my heat tool real fast. And then this would go on top. We think. I don't know if you can see that really well on there. I kind of like it. Okay, so a page out here. That's going to go on here. This is going to go on top here. I could put it right in the middle. I think I'll frame it. I'm, I've got too much stuff in front of me. I think I'll put it right in the middle. Hey, Marie. Hello. Sorry, I haven't said hello to everybody today. I've been, been focusing. I'm focusing on what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. 
We're going to put the word journal up there. Okay. So if that's going to go up here, <clears throat> I think we need something stamped in the background. So I'm going to do the Pillars of Hercules. I wasn't sure if I was going to use it on the key piece, but I think now I'm going to use it in this corner. I always have to look at it to see if I've got it right side up. Okay. Goes this way. It just kind of adds a little something. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it along the edge. See how that kind of brings it together? And that's going to go in here. He says I have been famed. <laughs> Framed? All right. You like that? So then we'll put this. So it kind of keeps the coloring because I'm doing the bright colors even on the craft cardstock. And then we have these two little journal cards, tags that can go in there. All right, so then on this side, I decided I like the idea of a belly band. I need that to be longer, I think, because I also want to make a large journal card, and that strip isn't quite big enough. So let's look here. I believe... <clears throat> Maybe some teal. Is that what we want? Oh, I might. No, nope, that's not enough. Uh, let's do this one. A little pop of teal. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think I like the teal with that. What else do I have here? I have some really old cardstock. Yeah, maybe that. Thank you so much, Janice, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I sent you a... Didn't you send me a message, Janice? I think I sent you a message. Back. Is it you? I have not slept very much, so I don't know what I've done. <laughs> I'll sleep good tonight. <clears throat> I'll sleep good tonight. I'll be tired. Working, working, working. Oh, well, thank you. Well, sometimes I get it. Sometimes I don't. No problem-free time. Well, so glad to have you here for your problem-free time. That's what we are. We're not making no problems here. None whatsoever. All right, so I like that. I have another one. I think we need to stamp in here. Since we did the keys there, I've got a single key. There's the jeweled key. This right here. And I think what I want to do is kind of stamp this. Let's see if we can get that to look kind of interesting by putting it like that and then maybe right along that edge. Might help I got it straighter. <clears throat> yeah, just kind of. Rotate the stamp. I probably could have used a different one. But I like that look. Do you see the, the look that it changes that? Now, if you didn't have a purple piece of paper to go with the Tattered Angel page, well, we could have sprayed one. I'm trying to use that what I already have. So, if you're thinking, well, Linda, I don't have purple cardstock. Yes, you do. You have white cardstock, and you have Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Spray it, 
let it dry, and then you can use it just like it was a purple piece of paper in its original life form. Ta-da! <laughs> so just because I don't do it doesn't mean you can't. <laughs> All right, I'm going to glue this together. Uh, but first, I think I'm going to do Distress Edge. Yep. On the purple piece. Did you get in the raffle? Get in the raffle. Are we getting close? Hey, hello. Punka Matata means no problems. Hey, DM, welcome. So glad y'all could be here today. I'm seeing so many names. <clears throat> we love that. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> Okay, so we got those two pieces. I'm going to go ahead and glue this on top, but I'm not going to glue it completely down so that we can slip a card underneath one layer. It looks blue to you. It's purple. It's purple. It's like royal purple. Okay, I'm just putting this closer to me so I can see it. So I just put glue at the top and the bottom here and here and let that dry. Let's do this one. You're welcome. Thank y'all for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. So I've been busy this weekend. <clears throat> what did y'all do? I helped Henry at the embroidery shop. Okay, so this is going to go here. I'm going to close this for a moment. I don't feel like I need to decorate this part of the page anymore. I think this is a good enough embellishment. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue this down to the page. All right. Glue this down. I need to glue my pocket down that I've just misplaced. Come on now. Seriously? There it goes. <laughs> That's the story of my life. This desk becomes a bottomless pit. You binge watched The Last kin Kingdom. You loved the show. Well, cool. You did your laundry, worked on a journal for your daughter. Awesome, Lori. Don't worry about Junkie Joe. He just didn't understand your punctuation. <laughs> I was really busy doing nothing, Marie says. Well, I like that. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't remember. Did I do laundry? Oh, yeah, I washed some towels, some bath towels, and the dog's bath towels, because it's time for them to get a big bath again. So their towels have to be clean, 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 clean. All right, so I'm going to stamp the pillars of Hercules across this top here. <clears throat> Okay, we got that. Then we're going to have this guy, this guy in here. And I had to get the word journal. And we'll glue this down. All right, we're going to be rocking and rolling now. So now I need to put together a card to go in here. So I've got this guy and this guy. I so said this will go right here. You see that? So I've got this guy and this guy. I've got two of these. I've got two of these. I have one of these, but I'm thinking I'm just going to cut it in half. So it should be a six inch. Yeah, so we'll just cut it at three inches. And 
And what if... I kind of just did something like that. All right, so let's crimp this down. So that's a five inch card. So if I were to trim that to four and three quarters, that should be enough to give me a little bit of a border. Yeah, I like that. Okay four and three quarters because I had a five by seven base journal card. Squirrels! Am I doing the squirrels? Okay, poke, poke, nudge, nudge. I see it now. <laughs> Y'all get in on the raffle. You're doing stuff for your dragonfly thingy. Just got in the zone. I watched a show on Prime called Upload. Very weird but funny too. Interesting. Okay. All right, y'all enter the raffle. I'm going to distress edge these pieces of paper. And then we'll do the raffle. So this paper that I used here, um, it's possible that you'll get a random piece of that in your kit. There's going to be like polka dot paper possibly. There may be some stripes. So there's a variety. All right, so we're going to do that and that and that. That. Put this like here. This goes over here. So I need to stamp something behind there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Supernatural. Thanks for being here, Susan. Have a great day. Oh, no, Diane. It's probably needs to be refreshed. Are you logged into YouTube? I'll, that's what I'll remind you, Diane. Are you logged into YouTube? Then click on the button. And you can do through super chats too. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. All right. I'm getting the next prize. You got your box, Rhonda? Did you get it? Yay! I hope you love it. All right, so let's pick a winner. And the winner of 200 junk bucks is. Connie Barch, congratulations. You won last week. That's amazing. <laughs> Two weeks in a row. Go in the watery. All right, so now we're going to do um, two mixed media journal cards. All right, so here is our next giveaway. These are journal cards that I made during the live stream on Thursday. And I thought I would give them to y'all. So here it is. Those two enter the raffle. All right. I'm liking this so far. I think what I need to do is glue down these two pieces. And I need to move a little bit faster. <laughs> oh, dear. Move a little bit faster. I like that. I may, we may change it up some, but I'm trying to use as much of this kit as I can. No pieces left behind. <laughs> what if? I don't know. Does that look kind of weird? <clears throat> that may look kind of weird to y'all. I'm going to put it over here. Let's see. Does that look weird? I think we need to stamp in here. So I'm trying to decide if I go ahead and glue this piece down. So y'all look at that one while I glue this one together. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did I? Yeah, I got that. So pretty. You like it? That's a gel print piece that I made um, 
Thursday as well. I did get the gel prints scanned into my computer. I just haven't got them turned into a digital download yet. It's coming. It's coming. All right. <laughs> no piece left behind. <laughs> we need a stamp. Yeah, I think the stamp's what's going to help in that corner. I think once I do that, So, what kind of stamp This is that Vida the Val, I don't know. I used it in the blog yesterday. <laughs> I don't know the name of it. But I like the way it looks. So, what if we take this guy, and I really want to ink it up. In fact, I think I want to go ahead. I've been using my stamp pad a lot, so I'm just inking it up. So we'll get a nice, fresh image. Okay, nice and juicy. And I'm going to stamp this on top of the gel print, too. And that'll fill that space. Okay, and then if we put this here and this guy there, and we need something here. I don't know, maybe? I'm going to set that aside for a moment. Y'all look at that. <laughs> yeah, let me put it where you can see it. You look at that for a moment and tell me if you like how that's coming together while I stamp this one. You're distressing! <laughs> we lost Rhonda to opening her bo box of stuff, her order, her journal. I believe she won a journal. Wasn't that a journal time? Okay, I like that. Let's see what else I have here. Okay, I'm going to need those. I have um, I have this little word, London. Does that just, you know, just adding little silly things. Maybe up here. Nope, that's too. I think I like it like that. Maybe even we're just adding random crap, y'all. <laughs> oh my word! Oh my word, my word. <clears throat> I think that's what it needed. Was it just needed a little bit more stuff, didn't it? All right. Thank you, Diane, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, depending on the ink pads that you have, Sam, so long as the pad itself doesn't disintegrate, you can reapply on most ink pads ink again. There's a couple that do go bad. Um, they kind of fuzz up, and then it, the foam just, just disintegrates, so it's probably better just to buy a new pad. But if you have the re-inkers for the different various brands that you have then just squirt that on there if they're the distress oxides or distress um distress inks they have the refresher spray i have it here somewhere that you can spray on your ink pads you like well see it's a key hole so i didn't know if i wanted see that doesn't look right to me because of the keyhole but maybe we can change it by layering on top of it. I don't know. For some reason, I keep wanting to put that 
maybe that's what needs to happen is I'm trying to, I'm so trying to go in that direction and maybe even bring this down a little. So you see the corner and then we could grab a, um, here I've got a little scrap of green. That looks kind of interesting. You know, sometimes it evolves, you know, you just kind of have to let it come together and figure out what you want to do. I think I like that better. Yeah, I like that. Sometimes you just got to pick it up and rearrange. I had to look up at the camera and then I could kind of see, oh, that's not working, Linda. What are you thinking? Golly, woman. Uh, yeah, I like the keyhole upright. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want for it? Amazon? Yeah, Amazon has it. The refresher. You just tuned in, Rose? Well, welcome. I'm Linda Israel. We're just creating. We're using elements of the punked out steam two subscription box today and some rubber stamps to make stuff why do i have to Sh no sherry you don't have to rescribe you are subscribed and you'll have a renewal so whenever your renewal date is is when you'll get billed and then you'll get the download screen. If you want me to change your date, which is coming up soon, um, I can go in and process your payment sooner. Just message me on my website that you want me to process it now. So you're, you're not doing it every time. So don't do that. Don't do it yet. All right, so we're putting that right there. And then we're going to put this guy right there. So now we've got a really wild and crazy journal card that we've made. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Let me move this piece of paper so it looks a little better. Isn't that fun? I love it. Do you like it? You just putting up with me? Gotcha me? Okay, gotcha, Sherry. So that's why it's on the, whatever your renewal date is. If you want it sooner, message me and I'll get it. I'll get you. I've already had a few people order. Some of y'all's dates I did change because we're actually a month earlier than the subscription plan in the computer software because we had to push back the out to sea due to COVID. But I had to get back on track so that I can get the Christmas box mailed out by November the 15th. So, I figured you would rather hurt now <laughs> than closer to Christmas. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I gotta have your money now. <laughs> you love it? Thank you, Rose. Kind of balanced it out, right? Like it? All right, I get to keep one of these. <laughs> uh, I know I'm bad, aren't I? All right, so here's what we're going to do. is I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to grab the next journal page idea, and we will put that together. Okay. Here's a page that I made prior to the start of the stream and it was using the connected gears stencil i used the neighborhood we, we were having problems remember the name of the stamp a while back the neighborhood perspective is up here this is from the journal quartet this is the stitches stamp set this is from the tags 
And I don't remember, it seems like it says tag something, but if you just type tags, you get this and three other stamps. And this is a little arrow, and this is from the kit. And then on this side, I use from the kit, the kit. This is called Key Play. This is my new Curves and Diamonds stencil. And then I just repeated some of the other items on that side. This all together. Alright, so this page is all complicated. So we're going to work on it next. This up here. I can't let you see it. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that I've got to do with this journal page that I want to share with y'all today, which has many, many layers of things, is I'm going to use a Bible page as my foundation. And I grabbed a few of the pages from the subscription box that have graphics and weird symbols and stuff on them. I'm looking at them right now to decide which side I like better. I think I, think I like this side better. All right, so I'm going to get my spray box. I'm going to set this aside for a second. And I'm going to stencil on these, just some of the random patterns that I have. So this is uh, the subscription box stencil. And I've got, I've got the punked pink and the punked blue green. I was trying to come up with a name and inspiration left me. So y'all got really simple names. <laughs> All right, so I'm just spritzing on here and I'll go ahead and mop up with another sheet of paper and then this will give me another journal page if I want to use it in the journal I could use it at another time I'll go ahead and spray the back side okay so that's what it looks like mixing those two colors together you kinda get a little purple in the middle Let that dry all right, so I got this sprayed. So I'm going to set this aside to dry and grab a different one and grab a different stencil. This time I've got the diamonds with flare. And I think I want, I want this yellow. So I'm going to really shake this up because it's got lots of uh, good stuff in it. You'll see lots of critters in the punked out steam, for sure. You like the neighborhood stamp? It's a nice stamp. No, his tail was all curved. <laughs> <clears throat> Your dad was a tractor mechanic? Yeah, you should have those. Get those manuals out, Barb, for sure. That's what these are. I found a bunch of them, and I was like, okay, that's just too cool. I think those will work for making my journal pages in elements because we'll have those gears and whatnot. Now my stencil may be dirty because I used it. But I just like this pattern. Right. Norella, you still here? There's your yellow. There's the yellow you love. You just love the yellow. So there's that page. So it just changes it, okay? So we don't have just a plain piece of paper. So I'm going to grab another stencil. And this is another Gears stencil. I don't remember the name of it. Not Gears wallpaper, maybe. Be. Yeah, Gears wallpaper. And I think this time I want to do this punked at blue. You love this pattern? I like that. It's a new pattern. The diamonds with flare. I just drew it. And I didn't use the standard replicator that the software that I used to draw in. I ended up cropping just that center design so that I could um, repeat it the way that I did. Okay, like that. 
that's a new stencil and I'll go ahead and flip this page over I can use it somewhere else another time I'm gonna do one more page I think we'll do it with the uh, the purple and let's grab what stencil shall we do oh what stencil shall we do I want to try something new oh you know what let's do this I use this a lot but it's my uh, retro panel stencil and I think I want where is it there it is no that's not it there it is the punked purple yes I ordered the stencil Rhonda says oh thank you Rhonda for your donation lady thank you thank you thank you did you like your goodies that I sent to you I didn't see so I hope you did oh yeah flower chain stencil would be a good one too that would be a good one too all right we'll spray I like doing this pretty quick when I'm making journals that is spray my pages and set them aside to dry for a moment because there's nothing like working on a page and it was wet and then it rips and you're like so disappointed that it ripped. <laughs> All right, so what I like to do normally is just let these dry, but I'll take my heat tool and dry them a little bit faster. You see the pattern that's coming up on here? It's just faint. And we're going to tear this. We're going to cut these and use those to decorate a page. I'm getting all my things ready. I want it dry enough that I can take it to the paper cutter and cut it. Okay. So here's my foundation page that I'm going to use. And I think what I want is I want to kind of focus on some of the imagery that's on here. So I'm going to trim this to kind of include most of that. So I've got that piece and that piece. So I can do both sides. And this had a graphic up here. So I'm going to trim this close to that graphic. And just for the size, I think it might work going that way. I'm going to go ahead and trim off this edge just so it's a little straighter. I'm going to trim this one. I probably have more papers than I need, but I would rather have too many than you're sitting there trying to collage and you don't have the thing you really need or want. So if you're able to create that thing by doing what I'm doing here, we're kind of doing a different version of Franken page, if you will. Some people like that concept where you take different pieces of paper. So I'm trying to show you that, you know, yeah, we're using a mechanics book, but look at the pattern and design that we created with that stencil and so now we've got these really cool patterns that we can use to make a journal page so and thus junk that's what we're doing junk so here i'm gonna do i'm just gonna grab a couple of pieces like i think i want that one here and this one can go Maybe right here. Yeah. And then what else I've got? I've got this yellow. So I can put it across that way. 
I've got this weird piece. Go like that. And it's okay if it doesn't cover the whole thing because I've got another piece of paper that I want to use. So here at this point, I'm going to glue these down, but first I'm going to go around the edges real fast and add some distress inks. Now, since this piece, I don't need it to come as far down as it does. So right about in here. So if I take this, and I can tear it only because it kind of helps reduce the bulk and it's now giving me another piece of paper that I can use on the other side if I need or want. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down up here. That's going to glue right there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this one longer and let that other piece of paper overlap. All right, so let's glue these two pieces down. What now? Did I miss anything? What is she wanting to know? How delicate what is? I didn't see which, what item it was. Let me know what it was. Okay. So I'm just kind of putting that up in the corner. It wasn't cut straight, so it has a crooked edge. I'm just going to leave it. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece down up here. All right, y'all have a good night, Ashley. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, thank you, Margie. Thank you so very much. Have a good dinner. Say hi to Patty. Give her a hug. Tell her I love her. And I love you too. <laughs> have a good night. Oh, dear. Too many distractions. Okay, I like that. And then I think we'll put this guy across here. I'll go ahead and apply some distress inks. What do you think of the colorful placements that we've got going on? Oh, we have one. I, I can't keep one. Is that it? I can only have one. I can't keep two. I do have a... Uh, if y'all want to participate, I have a mini journal that I could do a quick raffle where you pay um, 100 junk bucks to enter to win a mini journal. I have an out to sea mini journal and I have two of the punked out steam original mini journals. If y'all want that, say mini journal, mini journal. The flower chain stencil. Okay, gotcha. Um, if I can find it here in just a moment, I will use it. Alright, I've got y'all gonna like this. <laughs> I've got this old Sears and Roebuck catalog and I thought the guns were funny because of the fact that these are vintage and that you know steampunk sometimes they'll put gears on guns and make them look like big funky bazookas <laughs> all right so what if I kind of like that Yeah, we'll kind of put that in the middle there. That'll give us a nice little design. Okay. Just kind of put it right in here in the middle. I've got some pockets that we're going to put on here. Okay. I see one. Yes, mini journal. 
I'll do that, Robin says. Sam says yes. Barb says yes. Okay. All right. Is it time for the other raffle, Robin? Okay. I didn't use that. I may need this in a moment. Okay. I'm getting too many things in front of me. It's making my life difficult. Too many things in front of me. Makes me a little bit anxious. All right. So, <laughs> I've got the ornate stamp. Yeah, I think that's right. All right. You, you like the uh, July Artistic Stencils, Rhonda? Yay! I'm so glad! Okay, so I'm going to stamp this guy up here. <clears throat> kind of about right there. Okay. Then, I'm looking. Oh, here it is. I got it out. I need another rubber block, rubber stamp block, not a rubber block, a rubber stamp block. And I think while I have this ornate stamp out, I'm going to clean it off real fast because I'm going to use it on a piece of cardstock. And we're going to emboss it in what color? Oh, did this color with this color we have the colors all right so i'm going to stamp this guy onto this piece of cardstock i'm trying to see how big it is so we'll put it right here oh i didn't mean to do it with that dang it i wasn't paying attention this is what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to turn it over because, you know, paper has two sides. So it's okay if you mess up. Just flip it over. All right. So I flipped it over. I inked it with the blue print sketch. Stamp it onto the craft cardstock. Then I'm going to use my little spoon and put some clear embossing powder over the Distress Oxide, and we're going to heat emboss that because I plan to use it as an embellishment. You're very welcome, Kim. So this is the adornment stamp. I'm going to have to hurry if I'm going to get these other pages made. Alright, that should be getting hot now. So, it took that blueprint sketch and it's not as vibrant because the distress oxide is reactive and it react a little bit and became a deeper, almost a navy color. Oh, thank you, Kim, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'll take my scissors and we'll fussy cut. You know, sometimes it takes me a little bit to come up with some ideas. And I try to do as much as I can prior to the live so that... When I go live, I don't have to do as many little tedious things. But sometimes you just have to show what the embossing looks like. <laughs> Alright, so we got that guy. I'm going to use some Distress Inks on it. And I did that just because I knew I wanted to use that piece in a moment. So that's why I stamped it. I already had the stamp out. 
All right, so now I'm going to grab my scrap of paper. I'm going to stamp the gears down here in this corner. And maybe we'll go ahead and go kind of up the page just a little bit. Yeah, like that. And then we're going to go on this corner. Maybe come down just a little bit. I think I'm going to put some right here only because I know my little pocket piece that I'm putting on there. Okay. And set this aside. I think I want this stamp. So put this guy back over there. And we're going to stamp this guy. This is, um, it's not, it's not clocked out. It's time something. Oh goodness. I think I like that. I'm going to leave a space there and, oh, that's what I was going to do. Yeah. Okay. I forgot that I was using a little scrap or a little note paper. So I'm going to put that here. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this again, even though it's off. I think it'll be okay. And while I'm at it, I saw that I had a little piece of paper. <laughs> okay, that's going to be a pocket. Well, I know I cut it. Where'd it go? That's going to be a pocket. This is going to be a pocket, but I need my little strip that I thought I had. So we'll use this guy. I want one inch, one and three quarters inch. And what is this? So three and three quarters, maybe. Yeah. I could have made it bigger, but I decided to make it that size. And let's stamp on that. I'll use the same clock. Okay, and we'll apply some distress ink. Check the couch cushion. You already checked out. You got all your couch cushions done, Robin, because it's at the end of the month for you. All right, we're going to glue that on top of there. I like the gears behind there in the clock. All right, we'll glue that down. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold this so I know where the center is. And then this is going to be a pocket down here at the bottom. Okay. Get out of my way. That's going to be right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it there. And then I've got this piece that's going to go here. So I'm going to glue that down. See how it's coming together? This is just one of those tear off notepads. I've got the stamp journal. And I'll put it right up here. I've got a fussy cut element that I want to use that is now disappeared. Oh my goodness, Linda. Ah, there it is. I found it. It's a little hard, a little flower. All right, should I do anything else on there? No. Okay. 
So now we'll do that there. All right. So now I've got, oh yeah, this is one of the um, tags that comes in the kit. And this is using that hotel key stamp. And what Beverly did was she inked up the stamp and stamped it. Then she stamped over it with like the small print letter. Then she scanned it into her computer and then she's able to print it over and over and over. And I just thought it was kind of interesting. So I would put it on here and we're going to stamp this guy. I've got pumice stone. So I'm just going to ink it up a little bit. Kind of stamp it off the edge. Just kind of add a little interest to it. So I'm making these to go in pockets. This is going to go over here. I've got a piece. This will go here. But I need to make this a little better. And I've got, I've got a few scraps. Let's see if there's one that will work. Maybe this one. I'm going to cut this a little strip. I know that that tag that I'm getting ready to make is three inches wide and about six inches tall. So I'm going to go ahead and make this um, two and three quarters of an inch wide to fit on top of there because we're going to make a little pocket. We're going to make a little pocket. As soon as I find the embellishment, there it is. All right, so I've got this little piece that needs to be stamped or something. So let's use the Pillars of Hercules, and we're going to stamp that over the top. And then I'm going to apply some Distress Ink. Get rid of this ink pad. Okay. And then I've got this little piece right here that I'm going to glue in the center front of that. It's from the kit. I just lost my glue. Oh, it's right here in front of me. Ha! All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue across the bottom there. And then I'm going to glue it on this little strip. And then we're going to glue that on here as a little pocket. Okay. And then this little guy that we made earlier, he's curled up a little bit. So what happens when the moisture from the embossing uh, ink gets into the paper. All right. So I'm going to glue that across the top. So I'm just going to go right about here. That should be far enough. And then line this up. So I just want to make sure my glue is not seeping out. And I find if I press it, it sticks it together. Squirrel squad. Okay, it's time. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a raffle. Uh, we're going to give away this journal card and this journal card. And then we're going to have a special raffle that will cost you 100 junk bucks. And you will have the choice of winning one of these little mini journals that I'll show you. All right. So the winner. Yeah, they cause squirrels look like they don't want to do know know what to do. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all are bad. <sighs> All right, the winner is Cynthia Dawson. Congratulations, Cynthia. All right, so let me set this up. I've got two of the old punk out steams and one of the out to sea journals. So here's what we're going to do. The raffle will have a ticket cost of 100. You can have a max of two entries into the raffle. It is for uh, 100 JBs 
for an entry for one mini junk journal. So, there we go. Explained? I'm not going to do a flip through because I don't have time. <laughs> okay. I made this little piece here, and then look, this is one of the elements from the kit, and it just so happens to fit. And then this fits, if we're careful, and I should have made my cardstock a little bit bigger, but it worked. And then I've got this little guy that'll go in front, and it kind of frames it. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of neat. I've got one more thing that I forgot to put down, and we'll do that now. I took one of the chipboard pieces and embossed it with glitter embossing powder. It is a copper glitter embossing powder. So now I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the back side, and we're going to line this up right over here on the edge and glue that down. Okay. All right. So then over here on this side, we've got... The tag, I need to put some embellishment on it. And I'm looking here. Okay, so we're going to put this elephant guy right there. This is going to be a pocket right here. I thought I would put some writing space in the middle there. So I saw something a little while ago. I wonder if I still have it. It was just a scrap of paper. That I thought, oh, that might work. And of course, now it has disappeared. That's what happens. Story of my life. Here we go. It's just a little piece of paper. So what if we tear it and then do like this? Oh, thank you, Lori. Thank you, Rose, for your donation. Thank you, Kim, Margie, Rhonda. Diane, Barb, Janice, Sherry, Jennifer, Karen, Cynthia, and Margie again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is the stamp at the top new? It's it's relatively new, Julie. It's called Adornment. Okay, I think I think I want to do it like that. So I'm just gonna. Oh wait, but wait, there's more. I knew there was something else I wanted to do. Okay, so before I put it down, I've got shaded lilac, and I've got the vine, twining, spiraling vine, spiraling vine, and I'm just kind of inking it up randomly, and we're just going to press it down and see what we get. It's just a random, you know, little scrap. I'm glad I looked closer, and then we'll glue this down. So it kind of gives us a little pretty Victorian look to it as well. We're going to run long today. I hope y'all ate a snack. <laughs> ah, Linda's just a rambling. Doodah, doodah. <laughs> We're going to make this a pocket on the bottom. It's right about there. All right, so do you see what we've done? Did I go too fast so far? All right, we have all these little elements on here that when we get to the page, you know, just kind of think you're only going to see half of that, and then you'll see this half of it, okay? And then here is what we need to do with that is put a embellishment on here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this down in the pocket. I have one of the envelopes that's in the kit. A little coin envelope. And it has a little card. It has a squirrel! <laughs> Is this a new one? Uh, Jen Jennifer, yes, I believe you have a subscription box. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, this is the new one. This is the punked out steam. All right, so that's going to go there. But before I finish the other side, I'm going to set these aside here. Just remember, they're right here. They're, they're right here, Linda. You can find them. All right, let's flip this over, and let's decorate this side. Oh, yeah, and I need to put, I keep forgetting, I got to put some embellishments on here because y'all are always on me not using embellishments. So I got some yarn. <laughs> And I'm going to cut a piece of yarn. 
And I'm going to undo this because we're going to fold this in half. And we got this in half. My fingers are dirty, y'all. Them tattered angels. They sure are dirty angels. <laughs> Squirrel, am I squirreling again? <laughs> uh. All right, so if you, if, uh, yeah, if, okay, the current raffle. To get in this current raffle to win one of these mini junk journals, it will cost you 100 junk bucks. If you want, you can also do it one more time for an additional 100 junk bucks. So it'll cost you a total of 200 junk bucks if you fail to remember if you entered already. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not going to look. <laughs> All right. So I've got uh, one of the bowl paper clip uh, pins. And I think I saw. What do I want to do here? I had a little charm. I thought I saw a little bell, but I don't see it now. Oh, here's a little key. Okay. So. I'm going to put a bead, yeah, a bead in the back, and then we'll put a sequin facing that way, and a sequin facing this way. I'm going to put another bead, and I've got a little key charm, and I'll put one more bead, why not? I can even put a tea tiny little sequin because we got bling okay so I just put some little bling and then we're going to attach it mom come on come on all right so there we go I used embellishments all right so let's decorate this side I gotta work fast we got all these pieces we got more guns we're going to stick to our guns. All right, so we're going to do pretty much the same thing, which is to decorate this side of the page. Mm. Yep, okay. So this time, I'm kind of looking to see. All right, we used a strip. I don't like that strip. I had a strip here. Where'd it go? Aha. I'll use that. Okay. So basically, I'm going to do the same concept. I'm just getting a piece of paper that I know I'm going to use. So I'm going to go in here and look at this and say, okay, um, that's kind of interesting. We've got this guy again. I don't want it to be on the exact side, but you don't really see it, do you? So we can put it there. And I think I want to change this to go here. And it really doesn't have to go all the way to the edge because I'm going to put some more paper down. Maybe like that and maybe we'll put this guy here I've got a piece that we're going to glue down so that's going to glue down there I've got a department of revolvers that I can glue across the top here to kind of fill in Something like that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some Distress Ink on these pieces. Because I just created them. I couldn't do it ahead of time. I had to find my... And I think... Yeah, I think I like that. I was going to put down a strip of a gel print. And I still might. I think I'll go ahead and cut it so it's ready. Okay, I'm hearing moo moo. 
Uh, oh dear. I'm not hearing Moo Moo. I'm reading Moo Moo. You're hearing it because I went Moo Moo. <laughs> oh my word. I'm not going to let it stress me out. I might get hungry. <laughs> But I'm going to soldier on and we're going to finish this journal. <laughs> ah. Why'd you have to go and do a complicated page, Linda? <laughs> oh, and cluck, cluck, cluck. Ah. Hobnobs for breakfast. Woo! Talking steaks for dinner. Oh my goodness. Well, I didn't get them out of the freezer. So, y'all have to gnaw on it frozen. Oh dear. Sold your rod. Okay. 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 I feel frantic now. I'm trying to hurry up. <laughs> we are going to need that piece. Okay. So, I'm going to start with gluing down this yellow piece in the corner. And I may change it because I kind of like the, the Buick Skylark over here. Yeah, I'm no, I'm still, I'm not doing two of everything, no. Now, I've already got pages made. I had those laid out as my example so I knew what I wanted to use. So, now I'm just making one. And I think I have two more pages to make. I think that's right. All right, so let's see. Do we want to go this way or this way? And then this one or this way? Okay, I think I'm going to put the pink down and then put the purple on top. Sometimes you kind of have to look at it to see what works best as far as layering is concerned. And I am overlapping with this yellow a little bit. Okay. And I think I decided that I like the purple on top of the teal because of the jog it makes. Well, maybe I didn't do it right. I clicked it. Oh, you know what? It only says two people have entered. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Max tickets. Okay, I'm going to reset this. Hang on. Reset. Yes. Are you sure you want to clear all users? Yes. Okay. Ticket cost. I gotcha. Never mind. I did it wrong. Now do it. Um, I'm sorry, uh, only two people got in. <laughs> so, we're going to open the giveaway now. It should work correctly. <laughs> I had it set to max two tickets, and I thought that meant only two times could you do it. No, it's only two people could enter. So, sorry. You didn't miss anything. Into the raffle. Into the dork. <laughs> Alright, we'll put that right there. I didn't have to cover the whole page. I just felt like sometimes you're not real sure what you might want to put down. So, if you can kind of fill in all the areas, then you know that that page is covered. And, I don't know, maybe I want to go ahead and leave that. I may come down a little. And then we'll do this guy. And I'm going to go all the way across. Okay.
No, they have to redo it. So that I saw um, Norella, and I can't remember the other person. I think it will only allow you go once. I'm not positive, but I think it'll only go, let you go once. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna come down just a tad, and maybe over. Yeah, and we'll cut it. Okay. It's funny to use this Sears and Robux catalog, and it's an old catalog. However, it is still too new because of the copyright to photocopy it. There are some books that you can get in, like, the National Library Con Congress, I think, um, that you can print and use in your artwork. Don't do that with these <laughs> and get in trouble. All right, so this is a gel print. Whenever I clean off the edge of my gel plate... I'll go ahead and just stick it to a piece of paper, and that's the result of it. What do you think? Just kind of making a little collage there. And I think I've got this little guy that I want to put over here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. I'll put it right. I will come down a little bit because I have a silly image I'm going to put on top of it. <laughs> oh, that's part of the kit. We'll put that right here. Okay. And then, where is it? Ah, found it. This is the Tulip Twine. I'm remembering these stamps now. I'm going to stamp it right here. Like that. And I didn't do it before, so I think I'll do it now. I'm going to stamp some gears down here on the bottom. Just kind of help fill in that space just a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. And then, and then, what are we going to do? Put this guy here. I have another one of the revolvers. Okay, I'm going to trim it. I don't need the whole thing. But I like the idea of using a portion of it right here. Just because it kind of ties in with the other side of the page. Tongue-in-cheek silliness. <laughs> you won't say what it looks like? You don't like the, the, oh, oh, I don't, don't, please don't say something bad. <laughs> they're, they're glasses. They're funky glasses. Okay, I like that. And then this guy's going to go right here. I am gluing this as a tuck spot, but I do not have an intention of putting anything in the tuck spot. But I do have this little piece of paper. And I went ahead and used the glitter embossing on the light bulb. What do you think? All right, so let's do this. I'm going to stamp here's my piece of paper in the background of this. And I liked the way the clockwork was. I don't know if I got it right side up, so I'm just going to kind of do it like this. And then I did the gears filling in. And then I was looking at it, and I was like, it's not quite dark enough. I used the Distress Inks. But I thought, what if I come back 
and I'm using the black soot right on the edge and that just gives it a little bit darker edge to it okay so now I'm gonna go over here and fold my page in half hey Barb thank you and this guy's gonna go right here on my page okay hands are dirty because my ink was still wet I should have dried it you love the light bulb isn't that cool I had to work a while to get that to come together but I got it all right so this is gonna go right here so I'm just gonna put some glue on the back I went ahead and did the embossing ahead of time I show on my Thursday live streams embossing. I smush my embossing ink pad to the chipboard, coat it with embossing powder, tap off the excess heat until desired effect. All right, so we're going to put this right here. I always stick my hand in the glue. I don't know why. I just do it. Okay, I'm putting that on top for a second. I've got the stitches stamp, and I think I want to use it on here. So, oh, I now have sequins all over my table. Scrap of paper underneath. And we're going to put this right here to make it look like we have little stitches on the page okay and we need a little something right there my original plan was to use a rubber stamp that I don't think now will work so I'm gonna try a different stamp and see what happens this block is not big enough but this one is alright so we're gonna ink it up and the Distress Oxide Blueprint. And that's one of the all-time cars. What if we stamp it right here? Yeah! I like it! Okay. So, I stamped here. And we've got a key image we can put on here. Somewhere. Now we're going to use this piece. Here we go. So this guy can go right there. We'll glue that down. And I've got some a little saying that was in the kit. I asked Norella for some sayings and words. So you get a few little words. Sticky fingers due to glue is a sign of amazing artists. <laughs> awesome. Oh dear. So it's not a bad thing. They're ovary spectacles. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Robin, you're terrible. You're terrible. All right, I have one of these little tear off sheets. Oh my goodness, I'm dropping stuff. You're making me laugh. Okay, this goes in here. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. This one's mine. You're, you're not getting to see mine. I'm putting it away. <laughs> this is going to go in there. This is going to go in here. These two will go in here. And this guy will go right here. So now we have this really well-appointed junk journal page, okay? <laughs> All right. Next page. Is that it? Oh yeah, I couldn't find that word. I couldn't find the one I wanted to use. 
so we may just have to make do. Okay, I'm just kidding. I got sequins all over my desk, y'all. <laughs> like you care. All right, so let's get out of the way. I have this beautiful purple paper from the subscription box, and I had the subscription box stencil. Might as well show y'all what those look like. <laughs> <laughs> no one will look at that page ever the same. No. Thanks a lot, Robin. <laughs> we're going to use the punked out steam too. And we're going to spray the back side. I'm going to use these extra journal pages in my journal. <laughs> All right, so I'm spraying the back side of that so I can use it later on and get it out of here. So that's what it looks like. Mopping up. Look at those giant gears. Oh, thank you, Terry, for your donation. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and spray the other side just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to take this out. And I've got to find a stencil. Oh, yeah. She wanted to see the flower chain. Let me see if I can find it really fast. Mm, that's the polka dot stencil. The flower chain is really pretty. And I don't know why I don't use it. It's probably because it's buried in my stash of stencils here. I only have, you know, like, what, a hundred and some odd active stencil things. Not including the several hundred of stencils I've made for Stencil Club. So I have a few. <laughs> Man, I don't see it. Okay, I'll find it for Thursday. I'll find it for Thursday. It's really a pretty stencil. Okay, no, I can't I can't see it right now. I'm probably overlooking it cuz I'm trying so fast to go through those stencils. Okay. So I've got the um polka dot stencil and I've got some distress oxide and dusty concord I think that's what I use yes and then I had a blending tool and here's what I did I thought well why not just kind of go in the corner here I'm on the back side where I spray okay And it's a subtle pattern that this will add to the page. Ready for the big reveal? Yay! You see that? It's just a subtle pattern onto that page. Okay, so now I'm going to fold this in half just so I know. out of the way. I've got the gears stamp. So I'm going to stamp the gears over here. And I'm going to come down the edge. Okay. And then on this side, I'm going to stamp the pretty clock. I'm going to try to get it straighter on my block. And I'll stamp it kind of off the page but right here in the corner. And then I took it off the block, so I need a different block. block. And I've got the 
tulip twine. Thank you, Janice. All the stencils are pretty neat, she says. And what else? I've got Queen for the Day. I'm going to stamp this onto a scrap. Yeah, I've got a little scrap here. Queen for the Day. Like that. And I'll just cut it. So we're going to use this little piece. Distress oxide. Okay, that's going to go right there. Oh, I have this crown stamp. And this time I threw it out of the way right here. I found it. Dear, okay, just go like that. We're gonna do some rubber stamping and embossing. So, this is gonna go right here. I have the crown collage, and we're gonna stamp probably right about here. And I will sprinkle some gold embossing powder with glitter because this is punked out steam and we can have glitter. And I'm going to put away the embossing powder so that I don't dump it all over myself. It's bad enough I'm covered in it. And we're going to heat emboss this. I am going to take, I had a paintbrush here. Now, I don't want that glitter sticking to my clock. All right. Let's heat and boss that. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rhonda, and I'm addicted to Tatter Angels. Thanks, Linda. You're very welcome. <laughs> uh, I, you know how much Tattered Angels I have? <laughs> I think I have almost every color. All right. You hear that crinkle of the page? It's crinkly. All right, so we put queen for the day. I'm missing a word that I was going to put on the page. If I find it, I'll put it in before I ship off the journal. Okay, like that. All right, and then on this side, I've got this little guy. And let's see if I can find maybe a gel print scrap of some kind. Do I want to use something like that? I have just a pair of some teal paper, but <clears throat> what do I want to use? I have a little piece of this green. It's a different piece. Yeah, that doesn't, it's not going. It's not flowing. It's not what I want. I don't see the piece that I want. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Where is the piece that I want? To use. All right, I just found this. It's a strip of a uh, coloring book page. So we're going to apply some distress inks. And we're going to come back with. There we go. I just needed a pattern of some kind to kind of come down the edge. And I didn't see a little scrap of a gel print that I wanted to use. So that's what I did. All right, that's this side. I 
have a, a scrap of paper here. I think it wasn't cut straight, so I'm going to cut it straight. And I don't want it super big, so I'm just going to come, oh, about an inch and a quarter. So I've got this little rectangle. I'm going to use my crocodile corner chomper. And then we're going to put some distress inks on here. My stand back over there. It's probably bigger than I need, but it'll work. I'm going to put it on the side here. And I thought I had out the stamp. There it is. It says today. So I'm going to stamp right here on the edge of that. And that's going to go right here on this edge. So we're going to glue that down. We're trying to do a little bit more embellishment to the pages. I hope you like what you're seeing. I hope it's kind of inspiring you. Okay, so over here, on this side, it's back over here for now. I've got, um, i got a stamp block that I want to use. Here it is. The grandfather clock. So I thought I'd put it over here on this edge. Then I'm going to mask it. I know I'm going to put this clock here. So I'm just kind of looking at it for a moment and I need the clocked out stamp that I don't see. Where did it go? Why did you forsake me? Found it. So we're going to use clocked out. I'm going to put it right about here. So I'm kind of building a little collage right there in that corner. And then we're going to stamp this clock and we're going to use the gold embossing powder again. Yes, I'm obsessed. Only because I haven't done it in so long. And so now it's like, oh, let's put the gold embossing powder on it. Oof. Okay. So now I'm going to put this right about here. I only reason why I put the mask over the grandfather clock is if I get over on it. I didn't want it to have the embossing powder on it. Glistening. All right, so I'm going to put some glitter, embossing powder. Heat that up. You need that clock stamp? It's fun. Okay, so it is now time to pick the winner for the mini journal raffle. It costs you 100 junk bucks. And I've got a steampunk to, for original little mini journals that I showed on Thursday in the live stream. So if you were, saw them then, it's the same journals that I showed Thursday. And then I have the Out to Sea journal here. When I call the winner, tell me which one you want. Even if you just want me to show you what it looks like, I can do that. I'm going to put this back up here. All right. So we're going to pick that winner in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and glue down that piece. See how that turned out with that glittery coming in from behind? And yeah, there's glitter everywhere. That's the nature of it. We got to share the glitter love. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I already have the glitter, so I'm going to pass the glitter on. <laughs> 
I think it's only fair that it be shared with the world. I haven't made an Alice journal yet. I've been thinking about it. Okay. So now I need this guy back again. I need that. I need what that? Is it this one? Yes, it's that one. And then it was an artist trading card. Okay. And then a gear. Okay. Nope, we're getting ready to do the mini journal. Let me see who's in it. So far, Norella, Jennifer, Cynthia, Rhonda, Marie, Diane, Kim, Sam, Lori, Connie, Casey, Kathy, Barb, Jennifer Smith, Jennifer Edmondson was before, Robin, Margie, and Terry are entered. Okay, y'all ready? Yeah, the clock stencil, but no stamps. They're fun. Yeah, the clock stamps are fun. Okay. Giveaway. And the winner is... Terry McManera. Which one do you want? And Or do you want to see? We're going to do one more... Um, Raffle, because I think that's right. And I have one more page I need to finish, and then we will put the journal together. So we do one more raffle. Which one do you think you want? Do you want the one with the ship, the yellow one, or the out to sea one? All right, I'm gonna get a drink. While she's thinking, I'm going to cut a piece of paper about, <clears throat> I didn't get everything put together like I thought I had, inch and a half. All right, so I got this guy. So, she didn't say... Yellow, please. Okay, so Terry's getting the yellow punked out steam journal. At the end, I'll flip through it for you. Okay, so now the next raffle, let me reset, is a time spent mixed media journal card. And there's not going to be a ticket cost, so anybody can enter. So there you go. That's our next prize that I made during the live stream, I think. Didn't I? I can't remember now. <laughs> All right. So now I've got a journal card that I want to use over here. So I'm going to go around it and give it a corner chomping. Okay. I'm just applying some distress inks. And then I've got the ox shaded lilac oxide. And I'm just going to kind of rub it randomly. Okay? Just to give it a pattern. I'm going to bring back my scrap. I'm going to use the clocked out stamp again. And stamp it eh, up here in this upper corner. Okay, now if I want more Distress Inks, I can put more on there. I think, though, I'm going to grab, I have a little piece of lace, and we're going to use a stapler and staple that lace on, and that's going to go 
in this little pocket right here. And then over here on this side, put the grandfather clock away. I have the time stamp. So I'm going to put these together. Try to get them straight. And I've got this little scrap of paper that it should fit right on there. It should, in theory. If I trimmed it right, it will fit. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. All right, I'm looking at it from the above. Yeah, that looks about right. Stamp it down. Mm. Hey, that's not too bad. And I actually was going to put the thing over there, but, you know, we did what we had to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and round the corners of this guy. And let's put some Distress inks on it. Move these out of the way. I'm trying to be really good about putting my stuff back on my little thing so I can find it. <laughs> Thank you, Tuppy. Thanks for being here, y'all. I greatly appreciate your support. All right, so this guy's going to go over here. Oh, but this is plain. There's nothing back here. All right, so let's get out of stamp again. <laughs> We're going to use the grandfather clock. And I'm going to stamp it up at the top here. Put that away. And I'm looking at my example. Okay, and then we're going to use my mask again because I'm going to stamp this clocked out over the top here. Okay, so it's going to get my clock theme again. And we did this already once, but let's do it again. Let's repeat it. We're going to do the gold embossing over here. I still have the embossing powder out. And then I had a paintbrush, but we'll use one of these. And let's heat this. Oh, thanks, Tappy. Thanks for coming by. Well, this is what I'm making so far. We're adding some clocks and gears and clock innards. Oh, congratulations, Janice, on getting your $10 off coupon. I'll get that sent out to you tomorrow because after this live stream, I'm going to crash. <laughs> I haven't even planned dinner. My poor husband. Okay. So this guy is going to go right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to glue this down. Right there. But I need a card to go in it. So I've got... An ATC size card. I'm gonna round the corners. One, two. Here she comes around the corner. Here she comes. Oh, I just realized I wanted to put another stamp on here. And it's this little clock that's from the Carry On, I think. I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of cool to have that on there. And then I have this in here. And I'm going to clean my stamp off. And we're going to do the Dusty Concord. And stamp that right here. Clean my stamp off. And I want the post script. This is a little from the um, postcard. Oh, that's the wrong. That's not what I want. Postcard. Oh, I forgot. It's a quartet. Mm. 
and I just stamped over the top of it with the lilac. All right, so now I'm going to put some Distress Inks. So here we got this colorful steampunk look. What do you think? There's another page that we made. You ran out of your celery stacks? Oh, no. Oh, wait. One more thing. I just remembered. One more thing right here. I have some of these gears. And I think we could put one right there. Let's do it in the copper. All right. So I've got... Here's how I do the chipboard. Lay it down. Smoosh it with my embossing ink. If you use a wet glue to try to get embossing ink to stick, what happens is the blue, glue will bubble up and you'll have this weird bubbled texture, which may not be bad, but it may not be what you want. So that's why you want to use an embossable ink. You can use the distress oxides if you have them. You can use the... Uh, I must have flipped it over. <laughs> it didn't stick to either side. Is that going to stick now? Oh, maybe it flipped over on me. All right, come on. That's what happened. It flipped over. I was like, it didn't stick. All right. Y'all talking about your storage? Your new stencils work, Rhonda? Have you been lost in the stencil world? <laughs> oh, dear. Can't go backwards. <laughs> yeah, it's glittery embossing powder, Julie. It's copper. It's copper colored. And it's glittery. I, I, why not? Yeah, isn't it an awesome color? I've had it forever. I thought, you know what? I'm going to use it. Well, I don't know that it says uh, sandstone tinselette. But it's kind of a coppery color. So you saw. Coppery. So let's put it right here. Like that. All right, so now my page is done. I'm going to put something heavy on it. That's my page. It goes there. Let's put. Putting an acrylic block on it. Okay. Whew. All right. All right, we're cooking now. The last one, this right here, I think. God, I hope that's right. Yeah, because this one's complicated. All right, so I have here an oversized piece of book page, okay? And it was given to me by my friend Beverly. She coffee dyed a whole bunch of paper and gave it to me. So if you don't have an oversized book page, glue paper together. Okay? It doesn't have to be this size to start this journal page. What I'm going to do is we're going to collage onto this page. So I'm kind of getting everything ready. I have two pockets that are going to go on here. I know that this is going to be 8.5 by 11 in size. So here's what I did. So I took another piece of paper on here. And I figured out where at the bottom this was going to end. I guesstimated. Yes, that's a technical term. Guesstimate. And I just folded up this edge. 
and we're going to spend a couple of minutes collaging on this side of the page. So I've got different pieces of papers here. I'm not going to need a whole bunch, but I do want a couple. I still have some of the revolver pieces, so I may go ahead. I kind of like the way this one looks, so let's do this side. And I'm cutting these pieces so I can use them. There. So now I've got a few little pieces in case I change my mind with the way it looks. All right. So then I've got, um, I don't need a whole lot. I want something in the middle here. I think I'm going to go back to, I've got this Oldsmobile. I think I like that better. So I'm going to trim this one. This will kind of go in the middle. Maybe this will go on top. This one will go on top. I've got a corner pocket that's going to go here. So I'm not really concerned about covering the whole area. And then this pocket's going to go over there. I think this will work. So what I did was Norella makes these sized all the way to the edge of the paper. And I wanted to have a little tab on them and have that size of a pocket and be able to use the full size of this pocket when it's put down. So I just attach a scrap of paper about an inch wide and now I'm just folding it to the inside and I'll do that on both sides here. And then this is going to become a pocket that I can use because I'm just going to put glue on this area here and that will allow paper to go all the way to that edge. So that's going to go here and this one's going to go over here. I had a piece of paper. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here it is. I've got this little piece here. I think about whatever this grid mark is. Let's go there. So it's about two and three quarters of an inch. Okay. Let's look at this. Maybe not as wide. So I'll just cut off an inch and a half. What if I put this right here to kind of give a little bit of journaling space, if you will, on here? I know it covers up that coffee dyed paper in the background, but it still kind of peeks through in a couple of spots. All right, let's apply some distress inks. So we're going to do another collaged page. So you're getting two. Or four if you consider it, you know, each page size. Or it could actually be more than four, right? Because that would be uh, eight. Four per a page. Okay, that'll go up there. We'll do this one. It was kind of hard for me to decide how much I wanted to do before the live stream. I was like, do I want it to be a little bit more organic? It might take a little longer. Ah, eh, well, you know, things happen. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to glue down this guy in the middle. Yeah, okay. Glue. Slide that over. Sometimes you get these really thin papers, like these um, repair manuals. They're very fragile. So I was trying to figure out what is the best way to use those. Well, just adhere them to another piece of paper. And then you'll be able to use it in your project. 
It didn't go all the way to the edge, but I'm okay with that. All right, this guy's going to go up here, so let's put this guy right there. I already made the journal cards that are going in the pocket, so that won't take any extra time. I like that. So we're going to put this one over here. I didn't use the colored paper this time because I thought, well, you know, those of y'all that like the more vintage look, you can do that as your base and then add a little pop of color. I've lost my piece of paper. So I think I want to put it right about it there. I'm missing a piece. It must be laying here somewhere. Well, we'll do something. We'll figure something out. Okay. Ah, there it is. There's the piece I was looking for. Okay. Is that what I want? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to glue this down. So that gives us a little bit of writing space. And now I have the hot air ship. I'm going to stamp this guy right here. Like that. And then this guy is going to go in the corner here. And I can glue down the corner pockets as well. Love all the color? You love it? Okay, good. I'm glad. Because you're getting ready to have more color. You see this peeking out? We're going to use that on the other side. You just wait and see. I find when I put these little flaps on that I like to do them ahead of time so they're dry. Because if you try to do them too soon and they're still wet, you can glue your pocket shut. Ask me how I know. I didn't distress that white edge. Okay. And then I had, where is it? Aha. The word inventor. So let's put that right here. Maybe come down just a little bit yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah. And then we have I have journal cards. Oh yeah, we could use a postage stamp right here to fill in that spot. So you also get some postage stamps in your kit. I'm trying to use it all, y'all. I don't always use all the stuffs. So that's why this video is long. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna flip this guy over. And we're going to work on this side. And I've got this piece of paper that I folded up. Okay. I'm going to fold it back down. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my page is folded in half, which this one has not been yet. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is with this piece right here, is I'm going to come out away from the page. This is going to seem weird to y'all. And I'm going to cut a little V down. So that I can glue this down and these will come up individually and they won't interfere with the binding. Did you catch that? 
All right, so now what I'm going to do is I've got this piece of paper here. I got a pencil, and I know that I want to cut this piece so there's a little bit of a border. So I'm going to come down and cut this like that. And then this piece, when I get done, I want to cut it off to right about there. And I'll just use that as a guide to cut my other piece. So I'm going to cut this strip. And I'm going to cut this across the bottom. I lost my mark already. There it is. And I'm going to cut this one to be the same size. And this is a scan copy of one of my gel print moppy up type pages. So this is going to go down here and this is going to go up here. So it covers up that whole mess. Okay. We're going to put some distress oxide on this portion and we're going to glue it down. I love the clock with the wings. It's a fun stamp set. That is um, time flies. Right, okay. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting everything. So I'm going to glue this piece down underneath the flap here. So this looks complicated. It's not really that complicated. So I'm just going to line it up with the edge. Okay, now I'm going to take this portion and glue just on the inside of that folded edge. And I'll put that down. Then I'm going to glue these guys on top of this little flap, which can give a little bit of stability. Okay, it's going to go there. Oh, I didn't cut this one enough, did I? Well, it's good enough. It's going to stick out a little bit. So now we've got a pocket here, and this can flip up. So we need to put something on the inside there. That's what's missing. Ah, oh, there it is. I have this little strip of a gel print. So I'm just going to cut it. Let's apply some distress inks to it. So that's going to go here. And I'm looking how I did that. Okay. That's going to go there. I've got these two little notepad papers that'll go on here. Did I use anything else? Oh yeah, we used the little gears. Did I see those? Here they are. I've got these little gears that can go on here. And we need some kind of stamp design, I think. Yeah. And you know, we use the gears a lot, so let's just use the gears. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a scrap of paper behind here to remind me. And I'm going to glue down these pieces. We're going to stamp over the top of them, glue down the gears. Okay. You love that page layout? Thank you so much, Casey. I'm just, you know, think outside the box of, well, how could I fold my paper just a little bit differently? How could I colorize my paper a little bit differently? So this one has got the...
traditional steampunk base colors on the other side, but with a pop of color on top of it. And then we're doing the same in here with lots of color. All right, so I've put a piece of paper on here so that I could stamp the gears. Okay, over everything. So I'm going to do it again on this side. Rotate this around. Okay. There. And then I'll include this guy right here. All right, but wait, there's more that I want to use. What did I do with it? I found it. I've got the tulip twine. Or tw so I'm going to put it right here. And right here. And I think, I can't remember which cube this is from. It's like a little postal type cube. But I don't know. I, I put it on here earlier, but I think I'm going to change where I put it. I think I like it down here. All right, so now we have this page that has this fold out like that. All right, we need to do something up here because that's kind of crazy going on, right? We're going to do the gears like that. Oh, you got married in Eureka Spring. Spring's awesome. Very colorful, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so we put gears up here, gears up there. Oh, I have these two pieces that I made. So I used the new ornate spiral, ornate something. And I used gold embossing powder. And I just thought those would be really pretty. Just stuck in the corner there. Okay. And then I stamped from the enameled cube. The Paris. Oh, I got Paris twice. I must have glued London down on the other one. Oh, well. And we'll put that right here. All right, now on here we needed something. So let's do the, what did I just put it? Dang it, I put stuff up. There it is. <sighs> okay, do the tulip twine again. Put a scrap of paper down just so I don't get it on my work surface. I'm going to stamp that right here and right here. Okay. And then we have these little elephants. Aren't they cute? They're from the kit. So I'm going to glue these down. All right. Well, have fun. Yeah, this, this gear stamp always looks cool. Just adds a little texture. Okay, so we got those things. So now we need to put the things in the pockets. So, I don't know what happened here. How did I do this? Okay. This one goes here. This one goes here. And then I made this card. So I did a gel print, a, one of the Sears and Roebuck ad pages. This was a scrap of some cardstock, and I used the floor, feather floral on the corner and then the word today from the new today uh, 
farewell cube. There's four little sayings. And this is another one of the ornate little designs. Over here I did the twining uh, tulip twine, the gears in the background, and the journal stamp. So I thought this would look good here, and this would look good over here. I can get it to go in the pocket. And then here is our journal page complete. All right. Well, I'm done with the journal pages. So let's get them out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have a coloring book page that I thought would just be fun to throw in there. It's a stark contrast from it. Get some stuff out of the way. This is the cover of the Punk Dot Steam Kit, so I'm just going to use that. Yeah, all Norella's kits. She did! You heart all of her kits. I love her kits too. There's the light bulb. Do we want that? Yeah, let's go with that. You get four two-sided journal pages that will be printed on laser quality paper in the kit. The cover will be 100 pound cardstock. Mine was printed on my home printer because I haven't had time to go to the physical printer yet. With COVID, I'm trying not to go out as much, so I'm just showing y'all what it looks like graphically. Okay, so we've got all these pages. Here's my cover. I want to flip through these real fast. Do I like that for the center of my journal? No. Yeah, I think that's going to be my center. Okay, that's going to be the center. Then I have what I call my mop-up papers. And we got this page. Okay. So, let's go this page. This page. I think the... A really highly embellished page can go early in the journal. Then we'll use one of these pages. Then we'll come back to one of these pages. Use another one of these pages. Another one of these. Then this guy. And this guy, and then the piece of legislants. Oh wait, I got to put in the coloring book page. So let's put it. Let's see, where do I want it? Let's put it here. All right. So now we're going to do the raffle for the journal card right here. You love all the animals. Aren't they fun? So we're going to do that raffle. So if you haven't already entered the raffle, please do so now so I can draw. And I'm just kind of lining up my page here. We'll put this journal together and then I'll show you the planner journal. Thank you so much, Giovanna. It took a little bit longer. Sorry, y'all. I'm getting my tools out so I can bind this steampunk journal. So I did use some fibers. I used several elements from the kit. And I, I tried basically, you know, the rubber stamps are things that I have. But in the stencils, of course, you know, you got to buy something. <laughs> All righty.
Yeah, I couldn't find it, Sam. So, yeah, I'm going to do the flower chain Thursday for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Woo! Go, go twice a month, Robin. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, smashing it. You go twice a month to get your printing done. Yeah, it'd be a lot of time to be able to do that. Okay, so. Are partial to elephants and giraffes. Well, there's giraffes in here, too. Did y'all see the giraffes? They're really cute. Okay, so I'm going to do the raffle now. The winner of the Mixed Media Journal card is... Rhonda! Rhonda, you won! Congratulations! Alright, so now we're going to start the raffle for the journal as I bind it. And we put it together, and then I'll flip through it. I think we are giving away two journals today. I believe I see Marie, Terry, Janice, Barb Dingwell, Lori, Rose, Kim, Margie, Rhonda, Diane, Barbara again, Janice, Sherry, Jennifer Edmondson, Karen, Cynthia, and Margie again that donated. So we're going to do the last giveaway. So I'm going to reset it. And this is for those who donated only. Donators only. One pumped out steam to journal. So if you donated today, as soon as I open this up, this is the time to enter the raffle. <laughs> and I just called off everybody's name that had donated. So thank you so much, everybody. Congratulations on winning the car, Rhonda. All right, so here's what I'm going to do now. I've got um, some wax linen thread. I have put paper clips on the journal to hold it in place. One, two, three. And we're going to bind this together. Okay, so I'm going to use my template, put it in the middle. I love how this has came together. Ugh. I love it, I love it, I love it. All these crazy book pages I found were perfect. Because other people were like, what are you doing with that old repair manual? I want to turn it into art. <laughs> Okay. Don't let anybody ever tell you that as a junk journal creator, you're not an artist. You are an artist. If you're doing this, this is art, y'all. Don't let nobody tell you different. I got too many things on my desk, y'all. I'm going to spend three days trying to clean my desk off. It looks like somebody exploded here. <laughs> okay, thank you, Robin. Oh, you got an elephant charm from a lady. Nice. Bye, Sam. Yes, there are two journals for today's donators. Okay. I love it. I can't wait to put my journal together. I got my pages over here to the side so I can put it together. I'm going to leave these kind of long so whoever gets it, they want to put charms in there. They can. You can charm it. You can put the bling. Yeah, she's in there. Okay. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Woo! -wee! This is a chunky journal. All those embellished pages. All right, so here is the cover, and we open it up, and we have our beautiful page that Norella used my stencil design and did her graphics on it. Here's the light bulb. Here's my flip-up page that we made, and this is a journal card from the kit. This is from the kit. Then you've got some gel prints and whatnot. I 
Oh, Junkie Snow Joe got the boss fight. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, you won, Terry. You did pretty good. And it may not have been very many people in. Because I've gone really long today, so a lot of people left. So you can see the perspective. I love how this, you know, the colors come together. It's so fun. Fun, fun, fun. Can y'all tell I'm excited about this journal kit? So we have this journal card that we made live. We made two of them, actually. Put that in here. Squirrel! We made this little journal card and stuck it in here. So we've got all of our clockwork type stuff. And it says today. So you could write the date on there if you wanted. The side of it. And I have pieces left over. I didn't use everything. I was trying. This was just a little tear-off sheet that I had on my desk. And I thought, well, I'll stick it in there because it kind of gives a little feminine touch to it. And then this side was the tag. The key. Here's my light bulb, that collage page. Now, this can be a tuck spot here. I didn't put anything in it, but it could be a tuck spot. I didn't want to inf interfere with the light bulb, showing it off to y'all. Queen for a day. The elephant. Admit one, gentlemen. <laughs> and then when we use the keys here and stamped it with the two different colors... I really like how that turned out. That was cool. Oh, yeah, the glasses. <laughs> ah, dear. And then here's a, this page. So we've got, that's what it looks like when I take the journal card out. And then when I put the journal card back in. Got lots of colors and layers. And here's our page with the flip up. A gatekeeper wines. The typewriter. And there's the end. And I'm grabbing a pen to sign it. And then here is the planner that I made. And I posted the video this weekend. So here I showed all how to make this. So I'm not going to go over the gist of it. You can watch that video. And I do go through it in great detail on my blog. If you want to be bored to tears, head over there and read it. <laughs> oh, you made a bunch of journal cards today. Awesome. Yeah, the, the car repair page. Aren't they cool, Lori? Well, you get some of those in the journal kit. <laughs> So I'm just kind of showing you. So what I'm going to do is I will call the first winner. And you tell me if you want the planner or the sub box journal. And then I will pick the next winner. Actually, Junkie Joe will. I love this page. This is one of my favorites. I love this one too. Just I just, stamp, I just kept stamping. <laughs> Poor number! <laughs> My humor doesn't come across in the blog. <laughs> I was kind of, you know, let's make this and let's do that. And then the stupid thing's telling me that I got too many words. I'm like, no, I don't. All right. <clears throat> I gotta get a drink, so I'm ready to scream out your name. Alrighty, giveaway. And the winner is, are you ready? The first person is, and Robin's in for Kim, if I remember correctly. Uh, pick winner, Jennifer Edmondson. You won! 
Which one do you want? Do you want the planner or do you want today's journal? You read the blog and you were as amused, Robin. <laughs> Because I had 1,200 words. <laughs> well, Robin did the hard part. She got all the links at the top, you know, of the products used. And I didn't even look at her list again to see if I needed to add them. So what I did instead was I kept writing what I did on each page. And I was like, okay, well, I'll tell them what product I used. So I was just putting everything... <laughs> you want the planner okay jennifer you got it lady you get the planner congratulations all right we'll set that aside all right the next winner gets the journal i made today see it even says today <laughs> it's funny i only did one tab i had intended to do more but sometimes my brain can't make multiples <laughs> All right, the winner of the journal is Sherry Deskins. Congratulations, Sherry. It's been a while since you've won a journal. You won. I hope you like it. I had fun. Did y'all have fun? I didn't even use the hummingbird design that's in the add-on kits. I like this. I know it's funky, but this journal is funky. So I like this funky collaged card. You're welcome. You're very welcome, Sherry. With the ovary <laughs> spectacles. <laughs> oh, dear. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> Didn't did Norella get that before she left? <laughs> oh my goodness. You have to tell your friends that they miss out if they don't go to a live because we laugh about all kinds of crazy crap. <laughs> You're very welcome, Margie. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you to my customers uh, for doing the subscription boxes and stencil clubs and orders for me. I greatly appreciate it. That's how I am making my living is off of this. It's not much of a living. I have to beg Henry when I can go buy something. Today, I had to get my hair done. You know, just had to because there was no choice. And I had to go beg for money. <laughs> And I'm not trying to beg y'all for money, but I was like, okay, y'all buy this kit because it'll get me set for a month or so. <laughs> Thank you to all my moderators. I greatly appreciate it. Robin is an amazing lady and I'm so blessed to have her in my life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You love, love, love it. Yay, Sherry. I'm so glad. I love how this turned out. That's why I had to make my own journal. <clears throat> You're welcome, Lori. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for being a part of this. I greatly appreciate it. Lots of love and light to each of you. Supper is ready. I'm hungry. Henry should be home soon. I like how this page, this is so colorful. So colorful. You're welcome, Diane. Oh, you just got here, Mariana. See you Thursday. Thanks for stopping in. I signed it. I signed it. I signed it. I signed it. Thank you for the journal. You always love getting something you made. Yay. Thanks, Jennifer. Yep, I signed it. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you all so much today. All right, it's time to go stretch, eat some dinner, and relax. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Y'all have an amazing day. See you Thursday when I go live at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we'll do some mixed media. Uh, probably some gel printing. I've kind of got, I, I want to make some specific colors of gel prints so that I can use them on next Monday's live. Where I will be using the large journal kit, which can be purchased as an exclusive uh, printed kit or as a digital digital download. Alrighty. Thank y'all so much. Okay, I, I'll hold it for you. Okay, gotcha. Yep, I'll put it together. Well, you also get a subscription box 
too, don't you? Or no, you don't get the subscription, you get the digital. Stretch up. Night, everybody. Y'all have a great day. Thank you. All right, we're going to end the stream. Y'all take care. Lots of love to everybody. Bye, everybody.